next has got to be what smokers were really designed for, and that is smoked salmon. Smoked salmon. There's two different ways, of course, you can smoke salmon. Nothing's better, but there's lots of ways you can smoke salmon, actually. You know, I every person I speak to who smoked salmon, they actually had their own recipe. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. But there's two types. There's basically what we call a cold smoke and a hot smoke. Mm -hmm. Now, a hot smoke is really where you're cooking the salmon. You are. And the cold smoke is? Well, you're not. Right. Look at this lovely piece of fish I caught. You caught that one? I caught this. I caught, that's a lovely piece of sockeye caught in the Straits of Juan de Fuca. Now what I did do is I froze this. Uh, just to be safe, I froze it and now it's been thawed. And it was only frozen for a couple days, so it's still a really fresh piece of fish. And what we want to do is we want to cure that fish. Really simple ingredients. All we do is we're going to mix up some brown sugar. And if you don't have brown sugar, even white sugar is fine. But I like brown sugar. Salt. Yeah, and lots of salt. Sure, lots of salt. I usually, uh, when I'm doing a meat cure of any kind, I usually do a ten to one ratio, ten parts salt to one part sugar. Oh, so you like a lot of salt? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you like a lot of a lot of sugar. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna add this salt there. Okay. Okay. And then all we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix this up like really, this. really well. Yeah. Is you can keep this whole if you wanted to, but you see the size of plate I have fish isn't going to quite fit it. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the fish in half. Like this here. Then we're going to get some saran wrap or handy wrap or plastic wrap. We're going to lay some of that out on the table like that there. And then what I look at we picked up at the store today. We picked up some fresh dill. And as I say, there are a lot of different variances here. But really, all we want to do is cut off some of this dill. You just use the flowers on that. You just don't use any of the stock or anything else, just the flowers? Does, is that what you do? I don't know. No, I just use the dill. I don't know. I'm not a cook, remember? Right. <laughs> I'm sure, but you know something, when I bought this at the store, I figured that if the stocks were poisonous, they wouldn't put they them there. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> if it was coming out of my garden, then I'd be a little worried, right? <laughs> but no, this is no cooking, and we're not cooks at all. But we know what we like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're going to take some of this, okay, some of this good. sugar here, some of the mix. Right on the plastic, huh? But right on the plastic like this here. Okay. And then what I do is I take a little bit of dill as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little bit of dill there as well. And then you can also, what I also like to do, is I like to take a little bit of pepper. crushed pepper. Okay. All right. And then we take this here and we lay it skin side down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take some fresh dill. More salt. You can be generous with this. Like that. And we're going to take the other one and we're going to put it right on top of that with some more, more dill. fresh dill. Might as well put some more cure on too. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit more bit pepper. pepper on there too, right? And then we're going to put lots more of this on here. And I guess you can change or fool with the recipe any way you want. You, you sure can, yeah. That's why I say some people, especially you'll find when we do the hot smoke, you're going to find that uh, when you talk to people, some people are going to. You know what we're going to do is just get another piece of spray wrap here. Well, I know a guy that does exactly the same recipe where he's put the scotch all Scotch over and, and then, uh, vodka. Nice. vodka. Vodka. Vodka is very nice as well. Depends whether you're a scotch drinker or a martini drinker, right? Whether you're Russian or Scottish. Yeah, but we're just beer drinkers. Wrap that up like this here. Okay. That goes like that. You got to put some weight on it. What do you use? Well, some people use bricks. I just go right to the garden. Look at that. Isn't that a great rock? Feel the weight of that rock. That's a rock. That is a real rock. And you take that rock and you put it on top like that. 
you put her in the fridge. Done. Right? Done. How long does it go in the fridge? Well, I'm going to take it to the fridge, and I did, I did one yesterday. There it is. Now, what you can do... Looks like it's, the texture's firmed up a lot, too. Well, feel that. that. Feel it. It's just like very th firm. Yeah, what it's done is it's taken out... Is, this is cured. Mm -hmm. This is cured. And it's also very salty right now. So what I'm going to do... Give it a quick rinse. We're going to give it a quick rinse. Now, which smoker are we going to use? Whichever one you want. Well, we... What about the middle one? The middle one, yeah, this is nice because this has... It's already cured. This has the go. apple in it, doesn't it? Or, or no, this has the... Which, which, that the one thing? there has hickory. This has... Oh, this is hickory? Yep. Okay, which one's this? That one's maple. And this one here is? It is alder. 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 Maple. Maple. Alder. Put it in the... Put it in the alder one. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, look at that there. And we'll just, uh, do you like to set it up top, I guess, don't you? Yeah, as uh, high as you can away from the heat source. Because we're in the middle of summer right now. Yeah. And it's very difficult to do a true cold smoke. Yeah, so there we are. You see just the two of them up high. And you want this bed wide open, too, because you don't want any of the hot smoke to stay on the fish, right? No, and just get rid of it. Yeah. Now, we're only going to let that smoke for two hours maximum. And then we're going to get out the bagels, we're going to get out the cream cheese, and we're going to have lunch right. with our beer. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Let's go. Now I guess our next one is the hot smoke. Well, look, I did the last one. How about you do the other one? Uh, first thing is we do the cure again, which is the sugar salt. And we're going to go with some brown sugar. You also said you use white sugar sometimes too, or? Yeah, most of the time I do use white sugar. And I put it through a mixer and I mix it for 15 minutes with the salt. And it's 10 parts salt to one part sugar. And I mix it up really, really well so that uh, there's no... There's no particles that aren't intermixed, and no. I, put, I put it in a blender for 15 minutes and just let it go. Isn't that right? That's, that's another nice thing about an automatic smoker is you can turn it on overnight in cold smoke, give it a real nice flavor of the cold smoke, and then finish it with the heat on the last four hours. And that's really nice too because you don't have to um, you don't have to worry about always putting chips in your smoker. Nope. Just let it go. Let it go. That's worth the value of the chips as it is. What we want to do is we want to put the fish in this nice tray and we're gonna see if we can get, we can get one more of these pieces in there mm -hmm. right there mm -hmm. just gonna take this and rub it right in very 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 well then we take another side of fish try to get some of that as well and we lay it flesh to flesh over top Okay? Mm -hmm. What about your spices and everything else like that? They go on after the cure is done. Oh, okay. Because okay, remember, we're going to hot smoke this. And all the temperatures is going to get all the juices sizzling and popping within it. Oh, okay. That's when you add the flavors to it. There you go. Press that in. Tomorrow morning, that'll be ready to go in the smoker. <laughs> there it is. Hey, look at all the juice that's come out of it. Yeah. Wow, this is incredible. So is this ready to go into the smoker now, Wade? No, what we're going to do is we're going to lay it out on the on the wood. Uh, let's do it. And we'll get some seasoning on it. Well, that's, that's a lot of fish. I know. You, but catch, you catch too much fish, here. It's a big dinner party coming today. You catch too much fish. <laughs> okay, okay so there we go. Now, what we have here is just some straight seasoning salt. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a little seasoning salt and pepper. I'll move this out of the way for you. Thank you. <laughs> a little pepper. A little bit of pepper. Oh, look at that. That's starting to look like mm. your hot smoked salmon, isn't it? So, what flavor wood do you want to use for this one? Oh, what? That should be alder, shouldn't it? Maple. You alder? Like, you like, okay, you, okay, you okay. like okay. your maple, don't you? Another one. Well, actually, Let's what put do we it got? in. What well, we we, got? well, this is our fish one here. We got the fish yeah. one so, going. So we should keep the fish on. Okay. Right, we should keep fish all in there. Right? What's this? That's a little bit of parsley. Yeah. Look at that. Now, that. You know, that looks good enough to eat right there. It does, doesn't it? Wait till you get it smoked and finished. Okay. 
Okay. Are you going to put any dill or anything else on it? I don't think, think so. No. 